morning. Glad to see you all happy here and thank God for today. Beautiful day. And thank God that we came together and worshiping the real God, Almighty God. Can change people, can control everything. Like He controlled my life. Come to me all. Come to me all. You have a you have are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest, rest. He is our comforter. Uh, as a, uh, last time I, I share about my journey, my, me and my family, that's, uh, you see, I'm just uh, going far, and God changed me from that situation. No. Okay. Forward. Yeah. This is Almighty God can change me from that situation to to this this stage, bring me to this stage and all by his grace. I don't know. Sometimes yes I know, but I really don't know how I am alive. Many times, many times supposed to I die. And, but God put me to, to put me safe to be a freed like with Bible and talk with people about his love. Freed? I was a terrible person, really. And about the religion, about the God, about the Allah, about the Islam, that was no mercy on me like many others. If you do some blasphemy against a God and prophet, I was angry. I have to kill you, then we'll go to heaven. That's also, that was good. And lots of blessing. Then, when we escaped from our country, uh, we came to, to Pakistan. As you see, that's my children, my wife. We came with our clothes. We came with nothing else, a little bit, a little money, and the money was about uh, three months was enough for my life. And always I thought, oh God, if I die, if some people want to kill me, if they kill me, what will happen to my wife? What will happen to my children? One day I uh, talked with one brother there and said, look, I know this, this is very difficult for me, and sometimes they will kill me. But please look after my children. He said, Farid, why you say this? They have God. God will look after them. And that's true. Then, when I uh, decide to be follower of Jesus Christ, silence was very difficult for me. To be silent and keep the faith of Jesus Christ Keep that spring that I found only for me. I said, many people need to, to know about this spring, about this light. They need to find this. They need God. They need Jesus Christ, like me, like many others. And how if, if I want to be like a silence, and also Jesus Christ gave answer to me. And I decide to not be silenced. And that was a problem in Afghanistan, in my country, that is a problem. Uh, if you, uh, there, is, there is no doubt, just they kill you for Allah, for God. If you are not a Muslim and want to go out from Islam religion. Then, that's, in 2006, me and Prila, we said, okay, we're not got to baptize. We should have a baptize. Me and Prila, we got to baptize. And that was another, another, like, experience, another joyness in our life. And then uh, in 2009, in 2009, uh, as a 
before the later we did, people moved to, uh, to Thailand from Myanmar. The children need a school. My children, they week by week, month by month, they grew up and they not had any school. And that was painful for me and Prila. And other, other side people, every time they ask us, what happened to your children? Uh, they not try to encourage us, but they, they just ask, what happened to your children? Your children, when they get uh, older, maybe they, they just uh, don't, uh, don't uh, find any job, any, anything, and they, like, uh, they have to go and maybe will be like nothing if they not have education, and that's very difficult. And that was painful for me and Prila. And then bring to the Lord, God, we have you. Special, I'm really happy and thanks to the Lord for uh, my wife Prila. She was really faithfully, she prayed. Sometimes I was grumpy and said, God, why, why? But God sent her to me for encouraging. And a brother came to me and said, Farid, would you like to join Bible college? When we had a secret life, I said, oh, how I can, have a, I can go to the Bible college? First, that's dangerous. Second, I don't have money. The third, it is language also. That's a big problem. Then he said, pray to the Lord. God will open the door if he is, that's his will. Yes. One week before, uh, we decide to join a Bible college in Pakistan. I went to the to the uh, some friends, some Muslim friends, and before they were my partner, we, we had a business and we had a work together. And they asked me, "Come and join us." I want to a little bit explain about that that work. We bring uh, oil, engine oil from uh, Iran made in Iran, bring to Afghanistan, between the border of Afghanistan and Pakistan. We had the machines, we had a label, a sticker, everything there. We fill the bottle, made in Germany. But that was my business with uh, some others. Then that people come to me. Uh, I went to them to visit them. They asked me, come and join us. I said, yes. After how hours we speak, we eat, we drink together, we drink a tea and, and, and. then uh, from that place, that time we were at the mountain area, uh, was about three hours drive to go there and I was on the bus. From the uh, sense I said yes to them to arrive to my home, I had a fight, really I had a fight inside of me and said yes to them and then what, what can I say to God? Farid, you want to go back? Yes, you have to do, you have to look after your children. You have to provide some school for your children. Doesn't matter, go. But God told me, Farid, I'm with you. But that was fight between in me. When I came home and I shared with Prila, she got angry and crying. I think she was crying and said, Farid, Encouraging was really uh, a big role in my life. And she, God sent her to, uh, to encourage me. And she talked with me. And that night, all the night, we talked about, about uh, this the situation. What should we do? At the end, I think that was uh, near the morning, we decided to, okay, we support ourselves into the hand of God. On that, when the morning we sleep around, the next day, a friend came to me to our home, and, and he said, would you like to join a Bible college? I said, no, Bible college, it's not possible, as I, I told you. Then, yes, we decided to go to Bible college, because yesterday I had a fight to go and join my old business and earn lots of money and put my children into the best school. And then God said, you said to me, yes. Now you said to the other people, yes, maybe. <laughs> then we decide to go to the Bible college and, and me and Prila, we, uh, that was also a big process. It was difficult for the Bible college to, draw, to accept us as well. And then at the same time, 
beside the Bible College was a Christian school with at least 75 percent people are Muslim, 25 are Christian, all teacher Christian, and I don't know, maybe some, some teacher was Muslim, but the, Christi the school was Christian school, and the principal, uh, our pastor talked with the uh, with principal about my children, and Philip, Peter, and Matthew, they go to a school as well. They joined that school. Always, always was, uh, was crying uh, difficult for, for Matthew. He was too young, and then he left his school and came to Bible College and, and spent time with us, and we took him back to the school. And there was also challenges there. My children also, they all the time, they said, we are Christian. And people asked in the other children, other boys, hmm? how are you Christian? You are not black face or brown, dark brown face. Or, that was challenge. I just told them, don't say to anyone that we are from Afghanistan. If they knew that we are from Afghanistan and we are Christian, that will be, will be finished for us. They will kill us. They will kidnap my children, and that, that will be difficult. But on all that situation, God put us safe. God put us safe. Only God, only, only our Heavenly Father and our Savior put us safe. Not, not, not spiritually, only physically as well. I had a seven years in Pakistan I had a really uh, fight all the time. All the time had a fight to, to God. It is very difficult for me. We had suffering through the Christian people there. All that, uh, that, that things was pressure on me and my wife. And, and uh, honestly, I want to tell you, it wasn't easy. But God, through the people, through the Bible, and his... Uh, he is, he is some, some good uh, sons and daughters spoke with us and, and, and encouraged us and, and, and like uh, uh, said, I am with you. I am helping you. Then during the, this time in a Bible college, that was my motorbike and uh, I think before I show you, um, three boys, my wife and me, uh, on one motorbike and one helmet we, we used to go to Bible college and come back home. wasn't far, but also we, uh, I used after the Bible college this, this motorbike for, uh, for uh, ministry. Then when I was on the Bible college, uh, in the Bible college as an uh, Every week we had uh, two days to go and visit people. One day for Muslim people, one day for non-Muslim, for Christian. With Christian people, Pakistani Christian people, that was easy. But with, uh, with uh, Muslim people, because I was uh, come back from Islam and know about uh, Islam, about uh, the religion, much better than the others, I start to be, and then I feel a bit uh, like, a, like a proud, now I'm Christian, I know the Bible, I know the Quran, I know this, this. I have to beat, pe beat these people, they are wrong. Then I took hammer, like I was like with hammer. I put the, the, uh, their, 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 their head like, a, you are wrong, that is not good. You will go to, hell, to, 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 to hell and that is, uh, you're wrong, you choose the wrong way. That was till end of 90, uh, uh, yes, that 2009. And one day, like, uh, God spoke to me, Farid, what are you doing? I, I'm doing very well. I want to show the, the, the salvation to people. People need to bring, to, people have to bring to salvation. and They need to be Christian. But God said, that's not, not the way. I am the God of, a God of love. Love people, respect people, and talk with them about, talk with them about your journey, about your salvation, how I come to your life, how I change, change you. Am I change you with hammer? Am I change you with saw? I said, no. But then in 2009, I decided to stop debating with people. Angry all the time, and the debating tongue, they were angry, I was angry, and they, they, we, 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 we like a fighting with each other. I feel that. 
God spoke to my heart like the Holy Spirit convinced me this is not the right way to fight with people. Love them, respect them, and be gentle and, and be patient with these people. They don't know. Then God, I said, God, anything you want to do, to, 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 uh, any way you want to use me, use me in any way. And he start to use me with love and kindness and patience and gentle, with respect to, to explain to, the, to that people to the, they, when they ask me why you are Christian, why you become a Christian. Actually, I not had a debate with, with, uh, with the people, they, are, they, they were strong Muslim. We had debate with people, they had a good thing about Christianity, but I, I, sometimes I destroyed them because I went and said, no, this is wrong, and they still had a respect in their religion. They said, no, you are wrong. You had a lot of things. I said, your leaders killed people, cut the neck and that. They also bring the, uh, the things to me. Your people do that, did that as well. Many years ago, they killed thousands and thousands of people in Jerusalem. But God convinced me, no, stop for it. And I stopped that. I'm, I'm very happy, thank God. God came to the right time in my, to help me to stop that. Uh, then uh, this is the Afghan group they came from Afghanistan in 2010 they escaped Afghanistan the first time Christian people escaped to Pakistan they came and God used me uh, as, a, as, a, uh, as a shepherd of them we bring all of them together and many, many organizations and churches uh, they help the, me and Prila to look after these people uh, find house for them. Uh, I was like a machine. Six o'clock, we uh, wake up and uh, eat a little bit, anything, breakfast, and then went to the Bible college, studied the Bible college. Four o'clock, we come back home and change our clothes and went to the people. I went to, to, to find a house for them. I went to find uh, Russian. I have a meeting this night with the, that church they want to support. Have a meeting after that with the other organization by telephone to support these people. And 11, 10, 12 o'clock, come back home and sleep. Sometimes Prila was with me. Sometimes all the children, they, they were with me. But God help us through that time as well and we lead that that group they were about uh, 45 people including you know Farhad and family they were there and the other families uh, I don't know uh, most of them we are other day some of them in United States some in Germany some in the other countries I, I really don't know because when uh, the time come and people try to kill me try to stop me these people they run away all of them ran away because no one was there to, to, to look after them, look after the houses, look after to, to find um, support for these people. They all, they, we don't know where they gone. But we had a good time and blessing time with them, with that, that group, that every Sunday they came to our home. And still we, every day, five days per week, we went to, uh, to the Bible college and when they, these people, God sent them, that was our field, uh, like a field work, three months field work we had. Uh, and many of them, they are Christian, but we don't know about all of them. But God, God work in their life. Just God use us as a sample, as a, like a, to just show them this is the way. God changes us, God, God can change you. And During the, that time also, that was my responsibility to go to the different churches and share the Bible in Urdu language. Me and my wife, we not uh, uh, read and, and deeply like uh, study uh, the Bible with the good teacher in our language. Always was different. My ministry, I started ministry in different language in Pakistan for seven years, come to Australia, that's my Another, another language, still I have a troubling with that. You can feel that. <laughs> and, but uh, 
when God chooses to use someone or something to do, he is doing. He is able to do that. Then uh, one day, Bible uh, College told me, the, the principal told me, Farid, the next Sunday, this is your time to go to and share, uh, and share the gospel with that church. I said, okay. Many times I share the church, I share the, 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 the gospel and the church, the share the message, and then come and sit. Then I said, God, are you really want to use me? But if you want to use me, why the people not standing like some others, they not standing and repent? Okay, next week, if you want to, rep uh, if you want to uh, show me some uh, uh, result and show me some sign, that's the time. Otherwise, I want to stop. I will go back again. I will go back. Maybe this is not my job. I should stop and go and do another thing. Maybe the other people do this job. Next week, I went to the church and I shared the gospel. Uh, I think about 45 minutes in Urdu language. Then uh, uh, come and sit after the finished uh, sermon. I come and sit. Pastor stand and said, if someone wants to repent, come and stand here. And I was like, uh, okay, God, tomorrow is Monday. I have to go tomorrow, maybe find another job. I will stop the Bible college and I will stop the ministry. I will just go and have a normal life. And this Satan was pressure on me, put pressure on me all the time, all the time. And slowly, slowly, I, I, I pray and I uh, watch the, the, the front. I saw a lady stand there and she said, I want to repent. The message was uh, about uh, on that day, come to me all you who are weary and, and, and burdened. And I will give you rest. She, uh, as a testimony, she said, she was around 60 years old. She said, I born in Christian family. I'm, I pretend I'm Christian, but I'm not Christian. On that day, when I share after the share the message, that lady said, I wasn't a Christian. Now I want to repent at the front of all of you relatives, husbands, sons, children, all. Then she repented, and that was a sign for me to put, to keep my study and, and, and keep my ministry and keep serving the, the Lord in that way, not going to my, go back to my business and, and earn money. All, all these things, uh, as I, uh, before I say, seven years in Pakistan was very, very good spiritual time for me. Not only three years at Bible College, seven years in Pakistan, because uh, we crossed all the suffering. We went to the tunnel of, of like a fire in, in our life, me, my children, my wife. When I went out each morning to go and do the ministry and do something, that was no hope to that I coming back on the afternoon to the home. That, that, that much dangerous was in my life because many people knew about me and, and in Pakistan also that's like a sister of Afghanistan. They're they killing people easily. But God chose me to put the ministry and God encouraged me to, to keep continue this ministry. And yes, of course, he put me safe. He put me alive to do that. I don't know for how long, but not kill me before that was my question. Uh, my answer to my question, why God, you want to, you, uh, I'm alive. Yeah, that was from many years ago. And then step by step, God teach me, yeah, you are alive for this. You are, you are alive for this reason, for this reason, for that one, for that, for that, for that. Many things. And still sometimes I'm thinking, oh God, that's, that's, I, I, I really, it is not, it is not uh, easy for me, but our God, many things, uh, we are here and God, our God is very, very high and he can do anything in our life. When we are discouraged, when we are uh, like uh, uh, hopeless, he is our hope. 
here in Australia, when we arrived to Australia, also that wasn't easy. God, God provided for us to come to Australia when all the door, doors was closed in, 2000, uh, in 2011. In 2011, I received, uh, I, when I was a leader of this group, I received a letter that we want to kill you. If you not repent, not come to mosque and repent. Big mosque in Islamabad, there is a big mosque for 100,000 people. You have to Friday come to the mosque and repent at the front of the, all that people and said, I was wrong. I was wrong. I, I become a Christian and I convert, convert Christian because of money, because of things that which wasn't true. And uh, now I want to repent. And, and that Friday was Good Friday in 2011. And my responsibility was to share the message at the church. I shared it. I, I write the message from weeks ago and I prepared the message. Then when I received the letter, uh, children actually, Philip or Peter, they went and bring, oh, there is a letter. And my name, I, I, when I opened that letter was, if you not repent, we will and not stop your un, uh, wrong job. We will, uh, we will shed your and your wife unclean blood. And then our, we had the two rooms. I was in this room, Matthew, uh, 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 Philip and uh, Prila, they were at the other room. Prila, she was crying and pray. And I heard Philip uh, talking with the mom when read the, uh, the letter and said, Mom, doesn't matter if they want to kill us. We will go to, to, uh, to be with Jesus Christ. I'm the next room. I'm thinking and planning. Okay, if they want to kill me and my wife and my children, I'm, I know how I use the Kalashnikov better than them. I will kill 20 of them, then if they want to kill me, it doesn't matter. Then God spoke with me through Philip and Prila. Philip said, Mom, if they want to kill us, it doesn't matter. We will go to be with, with Jesus Christ. Again, again, like a God shocked me. Then I bowed down and said, God, please forgive me. I don't want to kill people. I don't want to kill people anymore. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ was killed for, for me, for my sin. Doesn't matter. God spoke with my, my, my son. Then I went to the, uh, the, that morning, I shared with all the family knew about that. We pray and then we went to the, uh, to the, to the church and I talked with my pastor and said, Okay, uh, I hope uh, it doesn't matter. This is for me, that's end. I really feel that's end for me. I said, okay, uh, I uh, prepared this message for Good Friday for sacrifice of Jesus Christ uh, to share the message. I will take, talk to them. Yes, I am coming to the mosque and repent. But when I go to mosque, I will open that message and read at the front of that people. They said, we don't want, to, uh, don't want you to commit a suicide. They will kill you immediately. I said, doesn't matter. He said, uh, uh, Farid, if you believe the God and God will put you safe, why you want to go? Doesn't matter. If they want to uh, persecute you, you should run away. At the end, if God let them to do, yes, they can. Otherwise, if God let, uh, don't let them to do, they can't even uh, uh, do anything uh, against you. We... The last day in our Bible college was there. We, we went and we joined uh, that program and we talked with our principal as well and, and say, hello, say goodbye to them. And we went from that, uh, that day, we went to the other, other side of the country. But when <coughs> they stopped my ministry in the city that uh, was me and my family were there and talked with people, with Afghan people, with the Muslim people, then God sent us to the Hindu people. I don't know. Some, some missionary they invite us, come to the, our village. Some our friend ask us, come to our village. And we went to their village and stayed some night with them. And then uh, we went to the tribe of Hindu people in Pakistan. 
and they're in very minority in Pakistan in Sindh area. They, we went to them and we share our our testimony with them. We share the Bible. We share the gospel with them. Uh, this guy here beside me, he said, "Are you from Afghanistan?" I said, "How do you know about this?" He said, "I can I can uh, see when you're talking. You're talking." Uh, like Afghan people in, in our language. But we uh, told them about that, uh, yes, we are from Afghanistan, but God can change people from Afghanistan. And Brilla uh, worked with ladies, talked with ladies, and she knew about that. And then in different places, God used us for the Christian people as well. We, we traveling to, uh, to the, um, village to village, city to city, and, 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 and every, everywhere uh, people come and they, they welcome us and they listen and we share the gospel. And many of them, they came to, 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 uh, to me and that, that was really blessing. And uh, that was too blessful for me as well. And they, that, all the time, God prepared me to, to, to put, continue my ministry. I remember in this time, uh, was 48 degree hot uh, in Pakistan area. And we escaped to that, uh, that village. We were on that village. Uh, people come to me and they give me five rupees. They give me them to my hand. They give me 10 rupees, five rupees. This is for you, Farid. They make clothes for me uh, like uh, very nice and, 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 and uh, like a cotton, 100% cotton clothes for me, for my wife, for my children. I'm feeling very shame and I talk to my pastor. Pastor, I, I have money. These people coming and giving money to me. I'm, I don't like it. I, uh, you know, I'm Afghan. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, pastor said, don't stop them. They love Jesus Christ. They love Jesus. They doing anything they doing, they doing for Jesus. Then I don't stop their bless. I said, okay. And that was a really blessful time with me, uh, for me and my family. We uh, went to that villages and when, when the villages also was difficult for us and all the doors was closed for us, we came to, uh, again, we came to Islamabad to the, that mountain area and apply again to the uh, with the United Nations can you do something our friends they said uh, write a letter to the United Nations can you do something for this family otherwise we can do please if you want to do something do it then God opened the door for us at the same time United States England and Australia three countries then uh, I, because the United States before told us you have to be, you have to wait, and England, that's I think too small, and God bring to us, uh, bring and uh, change our mind to come to Australia, and that was also God's God's plan, and God sent us to Australia. People wait for years and years to Australia to come to Australia legally. That's not easy, and but God sent us. And he opened all the doors, all the, 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 the boundary, broken all the boundary to come to Australia during the six months. Six months. And we came to Australia, and you know about the, the beginning, we came to Newcastle and, and, and uh, uh, God sent us to Brisbane through you. And I'm really thankful, and I'm very happy. And that's really, uh, I'm thankful to the Lord that I came to Brisbane and God started to use me here. Here in Brisbane, I want to tell you. At the beginning in 2014, when I, when I joined OM uh, uh, to be a full-time minister, that was really difficult for me. I didn't have the support to even buy food for my children. And Centrelink also stopped the, the support us and was really difficult for me. I went and find a job in, uh, in uh, uh, J. James Aluminium and as a truck driver. I got my license and then I went and joined uh, that, uh, that job. 
Each morning, 6 o'clock, I start, and uh, evening, 6 o'clock, I come back. I had overtime, and even sometimes 7 o'clock. When I come back home, Perila asked me, Farid, we want to go and visit. We should go and visit that family. We should go and visit that family. We have to talk with them. We have to invite with them. I said, Farila, I'm tired. All the day I drive the track. All the day I, I carry I, the heavy stuff, and I'm tired. I don't want to go. After, I think, two months I work on that. During the, this two months, I found some friends there. They stopped swearing there because I share with them, I talk with them. They stopped swearing. I don't know they become Christian or no. But God all the time talk with me. Where are you going, Farid? I don't know. I'm, I have to do something for my family. Then one day, I think it was Saturday or, or some night was, I read the book of Juno. That's in 2014 in Brisbane here in Logan area. And when I read the book of Juna, at the end of the book, I had a quiet time. On the quiet time, like God tell me, Farid, I'm sending you to Nineveh. You are going to Tershish. I feel, yes, God, I'm running away from you. You sending, you send me to the people to share about your love about your salvation. You want me to do some work. You put me safe and keep me alive to, to share about you, about my salvation, to show the way to the people that they lost. Many of them are lost. And then I'm running away from you. Praise God. Still I'm praying to the Lord. Not bring that uh, another time, uh, uh, like an uh, exam to my life. That was my last exam in 2014. When I feel I'm going to Tarshish, I feel like myself like a Juna. God sent me to the right, I'm going to the left. Then I, you know, I talk to myself, I don't want to go to the, to the Tammy of Fish. I don't like that, that's yucky. And praise God, the next day when I went to the, uh, I talked to Prila. Then I went to the to the, oh, the, the that company here in, in, in Woodridge. I went to the manager house and said I want to resign. He said, "Why? You have a good money. You have a good position. You, you become my friend because he was like a gunman, like a hunter hunter man, like our Gordon. And when I show him the big gun, he said, "Oh, this is a big gun." I said, "Yeah, I know about all of this gun, and I'm expert." He, he become my friend, and I share my testimony with him. He said, oh, that's amazing. But I'm not Christian, but God can do amazing things. I don't know if he, God changed him or not. He, he was really sad. He said, Farid, this is a good opportunity for you. You can buy your house. You can you look. Every week, you, you're earning around two and a half thousand, two thousand dollars with the overtime or with everything. Why you want to stop this? This is good opportunity. I said, no, I don't want to go to Tershish. I share with him. Look, I read the Bible. You know about the Bible. I, he was a, a, like a, from a, a Roman Catholic background. Uh, I read the book of Juna to him. I share the story. I said, look, I'm feeling myself like a Juna. God wants to send me to the Nineveh. I don't want to go to Tershish. And then he convinced, God convinced him, he said, okay, if you want to go. I said, actually, I don't want to stay another two weeks here if you can do something. He said, in this case, I don't want to stop you. Anywhere you want to go, go and bless you. Then I resign on that. The same day I come home, it means I repent again. I said, God, I'm repenting and let me and use me the way that you, li you like and you want. And yes, that, that's at the front of many of you that uh, God from 2014 using me here, me, my family, my wife. It is up and down at the life. It's not easy. It is discouraging sometimes. But God, God encourages us and, and help us and, and, uh, and teach us how to go to the right way. Sometimes... Uh, I'm getting really grumpy. Oh God, that's difficult for me. But said, no, go like a very kind father, convince the, the child and their uh, sons or daughter, 
to do and obey. That is the way of God working in our life. I think uh, it is it is answer to me why I am alive here and why God put me safe. And now from the 2021, uh, you know about the Taliban camp. I had uh, some connection, contact with Afghan Christian in Afghanistan, not in Pakistan, but since that uh, Taliban camp, God used that, that door for me to have a connection with people and uh, online start online this ministry and share with them, teach them sometimes, encourage them, and through the churches, support them for their food, for their, for their needs. Because Afghan people, especially Afghan Christian, they are in need. They are in really terrible time of their life. If Taliban know, they will kill them. If the other people know, if their family know about them and find them, they will kill them. The, all the borders are closed. They can't go even to Pakistan if they don't have money, big money. And also people escape to Pakistan. They, they, they don't have any job. Their children can't go to the school. If they are sick, they don't know what to do. But to pray to the Lord, he is our comforter. And he is almighty God. And he is able to do anything in our life. And thank you very much for, for, uh, uh, for your prayer and this many years. I want to ask you, please put continue your prayer for the ministry that time we are doing, me and Prila, for uh, Afghan people in Afghanistan, for, for all our brothers and sisters. We are, because God put, put us in this, this part of the world for a reason. I think we are here for a reason. To come pray for the, our brothers and sisters, they are in suffering, and, and support them, encourage them. May God bless you, and keep all of us safe and active. One thing I want to uh, read here, that's from the uh, book of Corinthians. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself uh, fully to the to work of the Lord, because you know that your, uh, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Praise God, and thank you for your time. God bless you.